What's up guys, Zinigami here, let's go through 40 Stamina Blackbeard. We are going to be using a double Enel team, and the first thing I want to say is that if you're doing this raid, if you have level 1 anti-silence, le just level 1, that's all you need, that's only 10 points in anti-silence. If you have just 10 points of anti-silence throughout your team, including your friend captain, then this raid becomes so very easy. It just becomes like so much easier if you just have level 1 anti-captain silence. Because one of Blackbeard's big mechanics is that he likes to silence your captain and both your captains, but he doesn't hit very hard. So if you also also if you're using you can if you have level one captain silence, you can use a VV Laboon team or a VV Lion Song Zoro team against Blackbeard really, really easily. But since we don't have our level 1 Captain Science, I'm going to be using a double NL team, which is one of the safest teams you can use against this island right now. Uh, if, if you are using double NL, what you can actually do is this stage 1 here, you can just stall forever on these guys. Because they hit for about 8,000, but then they have a 5 turn t uh, attack timer. And you heal for, depending on what level your NLs are, uh, YNL heals for a little over a thousand, I think. His, well, I guess you can look at the recovery. So his recovery is 260, my recovery is 235. I feed all, my NL pretty much all my recovery cotton candy because NL got a pretty nice attack boost and still recovers health too. So if you have NL, I, I highly recommend giving your recovery cotton candies to NL, or if you're on global, saving those recovery cotton candies to give to NL later at some point. Remember that you also can feed your cotton candies to, say, a turtle or some other unit that you're not afraid of losing. And then you can feed that character to someone else because cotton candy transfers over to whatever you feed it to. And I actually don't need to stall this long. My Nels don't have any levels up in their specials, so I'm going to be stalling out to try to level, try to get my Nell cooldown the most. That's the one I'm looking at the most because Nell gives you a 2 times attack boost for quick characters really 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 useful whenever you're trying to kill down Blackbeard before he kills you later on. And once again if you have the level 1 anti-captain silence you can use there's just suddenly a lot more teams that you can use if you have level 1 anti-captain silence. Because with level 1 anti-captain silence all of a sudden Anel doesn't, I mean Blackbeard just doesn't do very much. He hits for 6031 as his regular attack and once you get him to under 20%, he still only hits for uh, 8,000... 8,800? 8, How much does he hit for? 8,888 under 20%. So even under 20%, he only hits for 8,000 every two turns too. But he does silence your cap both your captains for one turn under 20%. So normally what that would be is that you basically have one turn of doing nothing and one turn of attacking him. But since... If, I mean, if you have level 1, once again, only one turn of Captain Silence is all you need. If you have just one turn of Captain Silence, all of a sudden you can kill, you can attack him twice for every 8,088 damage he does to you. Under 20% too. So it's pretty easy if you get that level 1 Captain Silence. Once again, I'm just, I'm, I, I can't stress that enough. If you have level 1 Captain Silence, all of a sudden you can just use really, really bad teens and still just clear him out really quickly. Um, as far as my characters on my team right now, Kaku's kind of nice to have for the orb boost. We're bringing Golden Pound Usopp so we can stall out some more turns here. And it's going to be on stage 4 that we're going to be stalling with uh, Golden Pound Usopp. And I actually have all the stalling I need just from the first two stages. Just because being able to take that hit from level 1 uh, on stage 1 and still heal all of it back gives you so much time to stall out if you're using a double, uh, double and L team. Just so much stalling to be had. This is when you can use Golden Pound Usopp. This is more important if you're using, say, a team that uses Hancocks or Marcos or Thatch. Because Blackbeard is pretty easy to burst down to if you're using like a Thatch Hancock or Thatch Marco or even a double Thatch team. And if you are using a double Thatch team, you don't you you can't take damage on the turtles because that's how Thatch works. Thatch only works. He's like Marco. If you're familiar with Marco, he works while you're at full hit points. So if you take damage on Thatch, he'll turn off. Which is why I, we also recommend like Thatch Hancock. So in case something does go wrong, you can use that Hancock to help heal you up. Just in case you uh, 
you miss an attack or take an attack. You're not dead in the water to be taking a hit like you would if you had double thatch. Now I'll kill this guy and now everything is ready to go. Blackbeard will preemptively put up a 999 turn uh, debuff protection and he'll also lock one of your bottom row characters. Randomly locks one of your bottom row characters. Now since now some of you may be familiar with the uh, method of exiting out of the game and then coming back to redo uh, randomization. That only works for things that happen at the beginning of your turn. Since Blackbeard does that as a preemptive attack, he you'll not re-randomize who he locks. So my Kaku is gonna be gone for 25 turns. If you die, you always get that. You'll get that. Uh, remember that if you die, you do get your characters unlocked. So if you do, this is like your first time you're running through. You can always spend one gem if you die. Then that lock will be gone. But since he does lock, that's one of the reasons why, for example, Double Gear 3 or Double Rally teams aren't as popular on Blackbeard. Because with Double Gear 3, when you lose one attack, you lose 30% of your damage right there. More than 30% of your damage just by losing only one attack. With Double Anel, also he only hits for 6,000 damage. And if I use even one food orb, then I will heal per full before he even touches me. So if I just keep this food orb right here, which I can just do right here. I'll just keep the food order. And then whenever he hits me, I'm guaranteed to be back to full health. So if, as long as you get one food orb every two turns with a double and L team, it doesn't matter what you do, he can't kill you above 50%. And I'm going to be trying to get him close to 50%, which is right about now. And then just throwing away some orbs, so that way after this attack we'll push him a little more. Because under 50%, what Blackbeard will start to do is he'll start to lock one of your captains. And it's not that dangerous only locking one of your captains. This is one of the reasons why VV Laboon doesn't work. Is that if you're using VV Laboon, it's got to be your friend VV and your Laboon for this stage right here. And we will heal up and take the attack where he locks one of my NLs. No stopping him here. But if you, by my uh, timing when you push him into the next phase, he only ever does his attack and silencing during his attack. So for example, when we push him under 20%, we want to push him under 20% uh, while he's on turn 2. And with only one of our captains silenced, this is still a good turn to attack before, 20, before the 20%. You still get one captain on, so you still get half of your damage. More or less half your damage isn't too dangerous. Uh, Marco or Hancock or someone that or if you're using say a double guard team it's nice to have a way to heal against Blackbeard since Blackbeard does do does not do that much damage I don't want to push him that hard since Blackbeard doesn't do that much damage it's not that hard to avoid getting killed by him by healing up back to full that's why double guard actually works on Blackbeard so I can... I'm gonna push him right now. I could heal up, but I don't need to since I do have Marco. I will be using my Marco to heal up. And by pushing him into the phase right now, he won't attack us. Or even, I, when he attacks, he won't do it until his next turn. He buys us one turn here by being careful when we push into the next phase. One way to tell when he pushes to phase 20 is that this little... Um, wooden beam right here. This one that my mouse is on right now Or right here actually. Yeah, that's right. This little wooden beam right here right at the beginning of that ish That's 20% So that's that's the phase that you want to look out for when he attacks here. He will lock both of our captains And this is uh, if you're using like a double Jozu team You gotta be really careful because remember when he silences your captains you just lose all your extra health so a double Jozu, at this point, you're basically just using a double two times attack ca uh, captains. And now we're just going to look for orbs, and I'm going to use my Anels next turn to make sure we kill him. Because remember, if you use Anel, his special is do some damage and then boost your attack of quick characters by two times, which gives you a ton of damage. And I could do this phase quite a bit faster. Anel also cuts your hit points by huge, which is why we use Anel for the very last turn we could possibly use him. But what I could do, or what I should have done, is use a Marco, I uh, use an Anel and then use Marco because Marco heals us back up. 
I'm not thinking right now. So that's something you always can do is that since Anel cuts your hit points, you can use Anel, cut your hit points, use Margo, heal back to full. You have it a turn to attack, then use your Anel on your next turn around. Tips that I'm not even listening to myself because I'm a noob and a scrub. But it's okay, we still kill him with plenty of damage. Uh, when I use my Anel, if I use Anel and Kaku at the same time, I could burst him down at least 50% using my team with a very good setup. But with my Kaku locked, I do, I do like to play really conservatively with my Kaku locked. That is the entire fight. Remember that you want to have Captain 1 Silence. If you can, if you can just get Captain 1 Silence, it saves you so much, so much pain. If you have Hancocks, she's really nice because she heals you to full. Marco is really nice because it heals you to full. Use a friend Hancock, friend Marco, both really nice. If you can use double Garp team to heal you with like a Marco. You can also use double Slasher team. Double Slasher team works pretty well, even though your Mihawks will only do half damage to him. Still lots of damage. Anyways, guys, I'll have a couple teams after this, but not too many. I don't. My quick characters on Japan are not pretty. Are not very high level. I can scroll you through my quick team right now. You can see that like my Rob Lucci, my new Kaku is not evolved. My Koza is pretty low level. My Kuro is not evolved. My Rob Lucci is nothing. Hina is nothing. Ganfall's not evolved yet. I basically only have one set of high level quick characters, so unfortunately I don't have that many quick teams to show. But that's it. Good luck with Blackbeard. I've been Zinigami, and y'all stay beautiful.